try out the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Powder Foundation on Acne Prone Skin. I got the foundation in the shade Ivory Buff and this is what the product looks like and it comes with a white sponge that you can use as an applicator so I went ahead and primed my skin and got to applying. I saw this all over TikTok and I was like, girl, I need to try this out ASAP. I have textured skin right now. I have pimples. Like, I really wanted to see how well this foundation would cover everything up, especially because it claims to be full coverage. So I wanted to make sure that they were telling the truth. And if you guys have skin like mine, I hope this video helps you guys out. This is a matte foundation. So if you have dry skin, this might not work for you. Once I finished applying the foundation, I applied some setting spray and took off the TikTok beauty filter. So this is what my skin looks like with no filter on. This is what my skin looks like outside. And as you can see, it wasn't really full coverage it did not cover much just kind of a hot mess if i apply more layers i was gonna look cakey so i don't know it's not a vibe let me know what you guys think though i just want to see something this is that dadgum dior blush we've seen a million times this is the new reformulated kylie blush in the shade winter kissed it's actually one of my favorites well the old formula i haven't tried this formula we're about to now this one's got more blue than papa smurf but this actually does have some blue in it too i want to see if they're comparable all right, let's put on this Dior one. This takes about 10 taps in here to build this daggum stuff up. I'm really not a fan of this one. Switching brushes, going into Winter Kissed. Now let's just start to build this up. I'm not looking in a mirror. I can't see what I'm doing. What does it look like? I'm afraid to look. Maybe they reformulated, maybe they reformulated this one to be more like this one because are y'all seeing that too? Y'all could be the judge of this, but I will say, I feel this is more pigmented. I like it. I like this. Okay, here they are, both sides. Which side do you like better? I went to Ulta, and I got some of the most iconic and viral products on TikTok right now to try. So keep watching to see if they're worth the hype. Full face of drugstore, let's go. Let's try the poreless putty primer. I even got the brush. You just scrape it and apply to the porous areas, like my T-zone. I use the other end to blend it in. Oh, I think I used too much. I love how smooth it's leaving my skin. Wow, it got rid of all my pores. Next is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream in Thayer. I've heard a lot of good things about this. This contains collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. Natural looking complexion with full coverage. Let's see if that's true. Wow. This is half of my face done, and it looks flawless. I think it's worth the hype. Go to part two for the blush and mascara. Going to do a wear test today with the KVD Good Apple Foundation, and I got mine in the shade Tan 57. All right, the moment of truth. Holy cow, that coverage. The coverage is amazing. It is pretty glowy, so let me put on the rest of my makeup. A little bit weird with my pressed powder and some spots, but it's about 6.30, and I will check back in in a little bit. All right, so this is what it looks like in the natural light. Super pretty. Okay, it's about 11 a.m. Um, as you can see, it's rubbing off a little bit on my nose, but as far as just wear from like oiliness or anything, we're looking really good. All right, it's about four o'clock. I'm getting less and less impressed with this. Like, look at how it's wearing. Yikes. So it's about 7.30 and this is what it's looking like. Breaking down everywhere. Two out of 10, only points it gets is for coverage and that didn't even last. I just wanted to show you guys the difference. Oh my god, bitch! I have never been so excited to try something! You guys have been asking me to try this, you've been tagging me, I couldn't find it anywhere! But I found it! <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, here's the brush. I really like this kind of brush, so I'm excited. Yes, I already have long lashes, but let's see what the hype is about. So come closer! Yes. Oh, bitch, this part is so awkward. Why did it take so long? Let me add a voiceover. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> so one coat. Second coat. Third coat. Oh, shit. Bottom lashes. Okay. <gasps> okay, so let's compare. <gasps> uh, yeah, no, I can't talk. I'm too busy being fucking hot. <laughs> I know you're arachnophobic, but those aren't spiders. Those are my lashes. Tarantula lashes. Magic does exist, so fucking buy it. A blue foundation. Let me show you why I have blue foundation. Technically, it's not a foundation. It's a mixing pigment, but more on that in a second. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, yeah, it's blue. All right, so you have a foundation. I have one here, and it's a little too warm. It's a little too yellow. I'm gonna do this side. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. This is not my shade, and I'm gonna end up looking like a banana in the pajamas. I also picked a drugstore one because we don't know what we're grabbing at the drugstore, but this is gonna help. Squeeze some out on my hand. 
Let's do one pump of the blue. Oh my goodness. Mix that up. It's going to neutralize those warm tones. Look how much more neutral it is now. Ah, it's so cold. Look at that. I switched my foundation brush. I don't want to mix that yellow side with this side. And here we go. It's the match for me. So if you're still not sure about picking out your shade at the drugstore, just go ahead and grab one of these to fix it. More on color correcting on my IGTV. Today I'm doing a full face of TikTok viral makeup. Starting off with Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Love it or hate it, I love this KVD Good Apple. And for all my baddies on a budget, check out the Milani Cream to Powder. This one went viral as well. Elf Camo Hydrating Concealer. Setting my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Elf Putty Primer, this one's in Tahiti. Nah, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed! Setting my entire face with the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear. Brows with the NYX Cosmetics Brow Glue and Lift and Snatch Pen. Fenty Gloss Balm and NYX Lip Liner. And setting my entire face with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. What do you think? What do you think? TikTok is going wild for this Kylie Jenna approved sold out makeup product. Sold out. Completely sold out. The only place I could find it was the Dior website the box it came in that is luxury at its finest <laughs> i mean it's just so eloquently wrapped and in a beautiful keepsake box <laughs> wow even the fancy tissue paper here we go dior backstage rosy glow these are so pretty there's coral and pink they have like this neon look to them the pink is the one kylie adores but i think i'm gonna like the coral the best all right let's start with the pink I'm just not too much of a pink blush person. What do we think? How does it look? I'm telling you, the coral is gonna be the one, okay? Come on. It's an easy decision for me. I love the coral. I love the coral. People are sleeping on it. Beautiful. Makeup worth the hype. Available at CVS. Milani's 2 in 1 Conceal Foundation performs better than most of my high end foundations. It's super long wearing and full coverage. You only need a tiny dot of the CoverGirl True Blend to fully conceal those dark circles, and you won't even be able to tell you're wearing any makeup. The Kiss Lash Glue Eyeliner makes applying my false lashes so much easier. Burt's Beast Tinted Chapstick will bring your lips back to life and give them a gorgeous flush of color. Essence Shine Shine Lip Gloss is one of the juiciest lip glosses I've ever used. It makes your lips look so wet.